welcome back aboard U80. It's 8 o'clock in the evening on June 18. We are 123 miles west northwest of the last position of the last attack. And Badeans just informed us about a convoy in EE 36, which is roughly 113 miles west of us. The convoy is heading west-southwest at a speed of 6 knots but um, we are not going to try to find it um, it's uh, heading away from our patrol grid uh, we are first going to the patrol grid and only when we are released to pursue targets at our own discretion will we um, head away from there the other problem is to get into BE 36 we would need to cover the 113 miles and then potentially the convoy would be at the not at the eastern end where we would get into BE 36 but it could be at the western end and in order to find it we would have to cover a much larger distance probably around 600 miles where we would be able to start our uh, search pattern um, as we did on the previous patrol where we basically go to the most distant possible position of the convoy and then start working our way back. Um, for these reasons it's uh, impractical, to say the least, to try to find this convoy now. In addition to all of that, we have terrible weather. Um, visibility is down to about half a mile. and. Uh, even if we found the convoy or an attack probably rather difficult so um, for the moment we're uh, staying on course we're going to get to AL-99 we'll patrol AL-99 it's um, basically in an area where several convoy lanes intersect so I'm pretty hopeful that we'll uh, find plenty of targets there. It's a quarter past noon on June 19, uh, ship time. We are heading 285 degrees at a speed of 8 knots. We estimate the arrival in AL-99 to be in about two days. The weather has improved a bit. Visibility at least is now up to about four miles. Uh, but we still have covered sky, strong winds uh, at 14 me meters per second from 355 degrees. Almost um, head on. According to our orders, we have made maintained radio silence, so we haven't reported yet the uh, sinking of the British uh, package freighter. Uh, I think we were quite lucky because it was in the middle of the night, the target was unescorted, and the weather was so bad there was no air cover to be feared. So I think a patrol that starts out with terrible weather in the channel is a patrol that's under a lucky um, sign, so to say. It's 8 o'clock in the morning of June 20. We are heading 285 degrees. Speed is 7 knots. 
after yesterday, it was a clear day. Um, only wind up about five meters per second. Uh, the weather has worsened again. And we are expected to arrive in AL 99 in about 20 hours, which will be 4 o'clock in the morning the next day. June 26, 6.30 in the evening. Uh, the weather has worsened again. And we're back to diving every four hours or half an hour for a hydrophone check because uh, the visibility is much worse. We are 60 nautical miles from AL 99 and about 310 nautical miles from the southwestern tip of Ireland. Heading and speed are unchanged. At 2.40 in the morning of June 21st, we arrive in the assigned patrol grid. The weather luckily has improved again, and we arrived a bit earlier than we thought. We have set up the patrol pattern. We'll uh, patrol for 24 hours as per our assignment, and after that we will pursue targets in the vicinity of this patrol grid, from about 600 miles west of Ireland as it is a very busy convoy area. It's June 21st. Uh, we are 375 miles west of Ireland in the AL-99. And the weather seems to improve. Uh, we dive from time to time, go for a hydrophone check, but uh, hopefully uh, if the weather continues this way, uh, we can stay on the surface for longer. It's June 22nd, uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. U80 is heading 320 degrees at a speed of 6 knots, and we are about 470 miles west of Ireland. We have finished patrolling AL-99 and we're now continuing the search for convoys uh, westwards into the Central Atlantic. We have received an interesting radio message from headquarters that I want to show quickly. The first one, this one. During the next weeks, all incidents with the United States have to be avoided, even if you are attacked by American warships. Until this order is retracted, you can only attack identified enemy cruisers, line, uh, ships of the line, and aircraft carriers. Uh, darkened warships are not a proof that they are, in fact, enemy. Currently, mistakes in navigation are the rule rather than the exception. For that reason, you shouldn't attack neutral warships inside the German zone, 20 nautical miles from the German coast. So apparently, um, there have been uh, mistakes, so uh, we are going to be careful. And the next message that I want to share is uh, this one. In this moment, a mobilization is taking place that's the largest that the world has seen so far. In conjunction with Finnish, uh, uh, our Finnish friends, um, the fighters of the victory at Narvik, at the Northern Arctic Ocean. Uh, 
were marching. German divisions under the order of the uh, conqueror of Norway protect uh, together with the Finnish uh, freedom fighters under their martial Finnish soil. From East Prussia to the Carpathian Mountains uh, we have formations at the German Eastern Front. At the shores of the Perth River the, uh, in the Don Danube Delta to the Black Sea uh, German and Romanian troops unite under the Romanian uh, Chief of State Antonescu. Apparently something big is going down in the east. Meanwhile we are struggling with bad weather again. Um, it's not so much that the seas are rough but the visibility is in the tank. And um, so we frequently have to dive to go for hydrophone checks. It's 7 o'clock in the morning of June 24. Our heading is 220 degrees, our speed is 8 knots. And we are about 650 miles west of Ireland. And we have reached the end of the current patrol pattern. And in a, an hour or so we'll turn north and move about 40 miles north and um, start a new search pattern uh, back east, basically. Uh, we are still slightly west of AL-99 in an area where a lot of convoy lanes meet and intersect. So um, the idea is to intercept the convoy here. It's June 29, 11 o'clock in the morning. We are 600 miles west of Ireland and about 900, not, not quite 900 miles um, south of Iceland. It is five days since the last update. Uh, we haven't encountered any sort of targets. Uh, we haven't received any orders. We are patrolling the southeastern corner of AL. Uh, our current heading is 100 degrees at a speed of about 6 to 7 knots, weather permitting. And uh, we are continuing our patrol pattern in this portion of AL. Uh, if you want to follow me to the map table quickly. I'll show you why we are patrolling here. This is a map that shows the Allied convoy routes in the Atlantic and Mediter in the Mediterranean. And we are patrolling this region here. This is the patrol area AL. And we are in this portion right now. As you can see, this is AL. And we are in the southeastern corner here. Currently heading east. And hopefully we'll find some convoys. June 30, 1941, we are 780 miles south of Iceland and about 432 miles west of Ireland, still in AL. U80 is heading 100 degrees uh, at a speed of about 7 knots and we still have not 
encountered any shipping friendly or enemy and it has been two weeks since uh, we sank our ship a uh, British package freighter weather has been like this for most of the time stormy sometimes thick fog and heavy precipitation and sometimes almost clear sky but pretty much always strong winds, high seas and it's taking a toll on the crew we are down to 75% of fuel and the starboard engine is making problems uh, it is possible that we have to board the patrol early depending on uh, the word from the engineer who's currently looking at this engine. <laughs> 